All right, so it's like 11 o'clock at night right now, doing legs. Wish me luck. Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire. So I got my top set right now. I have 295 pounds on the bar. I'm gonna go for three plus reps. Shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully I can get four or five. Let's do it. Let's hit some PRs. All right, let's do it. Alright, so as you all saw, I got three reps of 295 pounds, and it actually felt really, really easy. The first rep went up so quick, and then the second rep went up really quick too, and it felt really easy. But then when I went down for my third rep, I guess during the hole, I leaned, or when I was in the hole, I leaned forward a little bit too much, and my, my back immediately just felt tight going up, so I just racked it. I didn't even try going for that fourth or fifth, even though it might have looked like really easy, and it was. I know I could have hit five, but it's not worth it, and even when I racked it, right now my back's feeling a little sore, so hopefully, like I don't wake up tomorrow and just can't move, but I don't think it's that bad. What I'm pretty much doing is I just put a belt on right now, not too, too tight, but I'm gonna keep it on for the entire workout and adjust my entire thing. Um, I'm not gonna be going like heavy for my first set and then lighter for my next two, like I usually do, you know, reverse pyramid training. I'm just gonna go three sets for every exercise, around 15 to 20 reps. Keep it easy, keep it light, just because I really don't want to mess anything up and I advise you guys to do the same thing. Whenever you have a little bit of tweaks in your training like that and you screw up a little bit, just take it to a new approach and go the safe route. You don't want to just keep focusing on hitting PRs and kind of just keep going with your ego and then be out for a week or two just because you screw up your back or your leg or I don't know what. But anyways, let's hope nothing bad. All right, so I'm about to show you all something that I haven't shown on the channel for a very, very long time. And to be honest, I've kind of been putting this off. Well, honestly, I just forget most of the time, but this is a huge weak point of mine. And if anybody has been following my channel for a while now, you know that I've improved on my legs big time. And yeah, I'm about to show you my legs, by the way. I kind of just gave it out. But yeah, about to do a little physique update with my legs. Show you all where they're at. I put on a lot of size on these suckers uh, since I started my bulk a long time ago. So I'm really happy with it. And you know what, it is my weak point and also know that I hold a lot of my fat in my legs so there's really like no definition. But yeah, everybody has a weak point. It's all right, uh, just work on them, hammer them down and uh, you're gonna improve on them. So let's do it. So obviously not a lot of definition at all, if any. I hold a lot of fat in my legs and my face and my back so. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I don't really know how to like show my legs a lot. Kind of just like a, it is what it is kind of thing. Not much to flex. But yeah, really gonna try improving on those. Um, squats are going up, all my numbers are going up, and gains. <laughs> post-workout blood sugar right now is 119 pretty perfect that's usually where I'm always aiming to be at after my workouts around like 100 to 120 that's like the perfect range for me like come on come on what else do you guys think I was gonna have chicken rice duh <laughs> All 
right, so I just got to the gym and I wanted to pull out my camera and talk to you all a little bit when I was, well, before I was about to go to class when I was studying. I had a test and I woke up really early pretty much just studying for like two hours for it and the test kind of kicked my ass, but I did my best. Hopefully, got a good grade in it. It was in accounting. Accounting freaking sucks. But anyways, I'm at the gym right now. I'm going to blow off some steam. Um, it's been around like an hour, two hours, or no, like two, three hours, but I'm about to train with a good friend of mine. Um, I haven't seen him in a long time and I don't know why we never train together me and him are like in the same stuff literally and you know we share same goal same passion so um, it's gonna be really cool catching up with him but yeah about to go inside hit uh, chest and back workout I think he's doing like chest maybe like a push workout I don't know we'll try to like make things work out there we go some shreds though easy <laughs> so I just got back from the gym didn't really show you that many clips because to be honest that was one of the worst workouts I've had in a long time just because my lower back is still a little bit sore from yesterday as you guys saw from the clips on squatting yesterday after just one bad rep I just ruined it all uh, I, t I think I tweaked my lower back just a little bit the right side is kind of hurting I woke up this morning and it was, it was actually pretty painful it wasn't terrible but uh, obviously as the day went by it's getting progressively better I'm, I'm a lot better now uh, it doesn't hurt nearly as much but I really want to be careful with this I don't want to push myself and I'm kind of just gonna treat this next week kind of as recovery um, I'm gonna go be focusing more on like hypertrophy kind of ditch the the, the high high weight and like low rep scheme and kind of just go a lot more reps and just focus on recovering and you know what this is the kind of thing I hate so much about like weightlifting progression everything and just this lifestyle in general just one bad rep can ruin it all literally you could be just going up up soaring up with your progress just one bad rep can just boom snap your shit up and you know what that's why you got to be really really careful with your form and make sure you keep your form consistent just keep focusing on progressing with good form because like I said, one bad rep can just take you two steps back. But hopefully, it's not that bad. Um, I think I'll be better within like a week. But anyways, it's Friday night right now. About to go out with a few friends, have a little bit of fun. On a serious note, I want to thank you all so much for the support you guys have been showing on my channel. Seriously, the channel's been growing the fastest it's ever has, ever. And you know what? It's all thanks to you guys. And like I said, literally, your support means the world to me. And you know what? We're about to hit 4,000 subscribers. That's absolutely crazy. Literally, we're growing faster and faster by the day. And I see this big one day. You know, I see 40,000. And let's let's do it. I want to thank you all so much for being a part of my journey, being a part of this community. And just let's all watch each other grow. And just amazing. Thank you for following my life. And thank you for just supporting. But anyways, that's going to end off the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to click the like button. Go ahead, comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one.